I mainly work on a monumental scale, so I have to work on the whole window at once. It's quite complex. I can't paint the legs and then do the hands. I have to work fast enough to paint the whole thing at once so that the colors match. Despite the cut glass being separated by pieces of lead, the figure in the image needs to flow. To admire one of these treasures, we must travel to Chartres in the Eure et Loire region. Chartres Cathedral, built in two phases between 1145 and 1195, is considered by UNESCO to be a masterpiece of human genius. Perfect examples of Gothic architecture, this building's monumental windows let the light flood in. This unique collection of 172 stained glass windows is famous for its colors, especially the blue. Elodie Valley is a stained glass artist. She was involved in restoring these works of art. I grew up in Chartres. I've always come here to gather my thoughts. Stained glass windows have always appealed to me. I love the fact that they are steeped in history. This is quite a comforting place for me. This constitutes the world's largest surface area of medieval stained glass. The panels are aesthetically very impressive. When you hold them in your hands, you can see that the quality of the painting is truly amazing. The drawings are truly exceptional. The cathedral's oldest stained glass windows date from the first half of the 12th century. They are famous for their Chartres blue color, a brighter, lighter blue than other blues, obtained from a famously fade-resistant mixture. Chartres is famous for its blue because of these windows. It is the dominant colour here, so there's a lot of it. It is the colour of the sky and the colour of the Virgin Mary, so it's a very symbolic colour in religious iconography. The famous Chartres blue dates from the 12th century. You can see it on Virgin Mary's dress in the Notre Dame de la Belle Verrière window. It is a blue made from cobalt unlike the blue from the 13th century, which was made from potassium. It is a very resistant blue and has retained its splendor over the years. It's really quite special. The Notre Dame de la Belle Verrière window owes its fame to this exceptional cobalt blue. The central panel depicting Mary and her child even survived the terrible fire which raged in the cathedral in 1194. What fascinates me are the paradoxical aspects of glass, the fragility of the material, which is very breakable, and at the same time its solidity, because glass stands the test of time and retains its allure over the centuries, no matter what. Beneath this religious edifice, on the banks of the river Ur, stands the Atelier Lorrain, Founded over 150 years ago, this is the world's oldest operational stained glass window making workshop. Business has been flourishing here since the workshop was founded in the 19th century. 50 employees are currently working on creations for all over France and abroad. In total, over 6,000 specimens have been produced here over the years. Elodie took over the reins of this institution three years ago. The first time I entered this place, I fell in love with it. It was unlike anywhere I'd ever been before. I never ceased to marvel at the place. It was easy to feel passionate about it.
Parfois, Some stained glass artists work on light boxes. I've chosen to work with natural light. You work with something that is in constant flux. Glass, depending on the hour of the day and the season of the year, will radiate colors differently, even blues. It is that vaguely ephemeral quality which I really like about working with glass. Today, Elodie is working on a contemporary creation for a local church. She has to come up with a series of stained glass windows. After the sketches and the stencils comes the work on glass. I'm now at the stage of painting on glass. Once I've cut the glass, I paint it. Then I fire it in the kiln and mount it. Here, for example, I'm recreating an important figure. This is Saint Medardus. Legend has it that he got caught in torrential rain and there was divine intervention. I'll paint the figure with blue enamel. I've got antique glass panels on the sides, which have been block dyed, and I'll use thermoforming at the bottom here to create the texture of water. Some of the glass used is already coloured. Some is even embossed. Before painting it, Elodie must prepare her pigments. The more finely ground they are, the more perfect the colour after firing. I'm applying the paint with a sponge-like brush, and afterwards, I'll work over it with a badger hair brush. I'm sweeping the colour over it. La couleur. I mainly work on a monumental scale, so I have to work on the whole window at once. It's quite complex. I can't paint the legs and then do the hands. I have to work fast enough to paint the whole thing at once so that the colours match. Despite the cut glass being separated by pieces of lead, the figure in the image needs to flow. We still use Chartres Bleu, depending on the creations we are making. For stained glass work, there is a range of different blues you can use. I love working in blue monochrome. For me, it's the ultimate symbol of spirituality. I think it's a colour that opens up the mind. It really speaks to me. I use it a lot in my stained glass windows. I've always had a strong artistic bent. My mother is a painter, and I've always immersed myself in art and taken classes in painting and drawing. I really enjoy working with coloured glass. I am the sixth generation to work here. I was just 20 when I arrived. I never thought I'd be capable of taking over this workshop one day. It's a real honour for me to spend my days carrying on this tradition. It really is my passion. In 2018, Elodie was approached by the Archdiocese of Ho Chi Minh City to restore the stained glass windows in the Notre Dame Cathedral Basilica of Saigon, which were originally created by the Atelier Lorrain in 1880.